My name is Liz Cottrell. I'm a curator and research geologist at the National Museum of Natural History at the Smithsonian Institution. The greatest thing about being a scientist is the feeling that you get when you figure something out. I love that eureka moment, that aha moment of when you understand something you didn't understand before. One thing that makes geology a really unique science is that we're interested in events in the past. Unlike an experiment, say, in biology, we can't put our rats in a cage. We can't observe the bird making its nest. So we need to look at it like a crime scene. The event has passed, and all that's left are the clues. And so we have to pick up all the pieces and look at the clues and analyze the evidence in order to reconstruct the events that happened in the past. As a geologist, I'm interested in the history of the Earth and the deep Earth below the surface where we live is largely inaccessible. The pressures are too high, the temperatures are too high, and so we count on volcanoes to be a window into the deep Earth. The magma that forms in, beneath volcanoes erupts as lavas on the surface, and those lavas are clues in a detective story. And that's what I'm doing here today at the synchrotron. I'm analyzing those lavas. A synchrotron is a really bright light source that I'm going to use to look at samples of volcanic glass. We shine it through our sample and then we detect the light that comes out the other side. And we know it's coming in and we know it's going out and what's missing must be due to the volcanic glass. And that's the result that we're reading. Just like a doctor would take an x-ray of your bone, we're taking x-rays of volcanic glass to see what's inside. When I put the key in the door, it turns the x-rays off, and that way I can go in and put our samples in. It's really important to get the samples in exactly the right position for the x-rays. OK, time to search the hutch. These red lights come on to let everybody in that room know, let's get out of here. Because if you're in the room when the x-rays come on, it would be really bad for your health. By looking at volcanic glasses, which are snapshots of the interior of the Earth, we can understand something about the chemistry of the Earth's interior, which has implications for climate and life on Earth. When I come to the synchrotron, I'm working really intensively with a small group of people. The key person who's here every time I've ever been here is Katie Kelly. She's my partner and she's my friend. We've been working together for about five years. The other person who's here with us uh, on this trip is Mary Jo Browns. She's our graduate student. She's joined our research team and is, is apprenticed to us to learn about our science and get a PhD in the end. We generally try to have a fun time here. I love the team of people that I work with. They're really passionate individuals who are smart and, and really think about their jobs and really care about their jobs. Time at the synchrotron radiation source is really valuable. The facility operates around the clock, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And so when we have synchrotron beam time, we work 24 hours a day. During the day, we're getting our samples all ready. We're telling the synchrotron where to analyze the volcanic glass. And then, you know, sometime around 11 o'clock at night, we set it up for the night and we say, okay, go. And then our team will go to bed. But I set my alarm for every hour or two, and I wake up throughout the night and check to see that the synchrotron is still operating. A lot can go wrong when you're doing an experiment uh, at the synchrotron radiation source. One time we came and the motor didn't work. And so instead of being able to go to bed and get a few hours of sleep at a time, we had to sit and manually move the motor every 15 minutes from point to point. So around the clock for five days, someone had to be here. And in fact, we always make sure two people are here. So three of us were here 24 hours a day for five days. When you're a scientist professionally, it's similar to getting that feeling in school when you figure something out and you're like, oh, awesome, I figured it out. But being a scientist takes that to the next level because you might be the first person ever to be figuring that out. And that just gives it a, a huge sense of uh, fascination and accomplishment. My job is awesome. 